What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are showcasing one of the heaviest Pokemon in all of Pokemon, Aggron. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day, just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. Also, guys, before we get started with today's team preview, I want to let you guys know that your boy Jeans is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below and name is right on the layout. Jeans25 over on Twitch. Go ahead that follow button and turn on those notification bells. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. We are starting off with the one and only Agron. I love this Pokemon. I used to use him in Gen 3 all the time for my Gen 3 teams. And it's just super cool looking. It's Steel and Rock type, and we gave it the leftovers as its item. Its ability is going to be Heavy Metal, which doubles the Pokemon's weight. And we have a move like Heavy Slam, which actually bases its damage off of the weight compared to the uh, opponent's weight. So the heavier Aggron is to, compared to the opponent, the more damage it's going to do. So like I said, one of the heaviest Pokemon in the game due to this ability, Heavy Slam is going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. EVs for this guy, we max him out in HP. We split it in Attack and Special Defense because it's the that is already super super bulky so we gave it some special defense to give it some more all-around bulk move set for this guy is going to be heavy slam which we already mentioned we got protect we got rock slide and then we got iron head for two stab hitting moves second pokemon on the squad is going to be agron's best friend we got Cresselia over here with Psychic, Ice Beam, Calm Mind, and Trick Room. And then we got Levitate as its ability, and then it's Rock and the Citrus Berry as its item to give it more HP when it falls below half. Third Pokemon on the team is Torkoal. You guys know Torkoal in Trick Room is phenomenal. It just rips up and it does a crazy amount of damage. And on top of that, we gave this thing the Choice Spec. So, you guys think crazy damage for Torkoal is crazy? Wait till you see it with Choice Specs. It just does insane amount of damage, and it can legit one-tap almost every single Pokemon. Its ability is going to be Drought to set that Drought in the Sun, and then it's got Eruption, Heat Wave, Hyper Beam, and Solar Beam, which is a great choice specs move set for any Torkoal. Next Pokemon is going to be Torkoal's best friend. We got Victory Bell over here. We got Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball, and Solar Beam. Its ability is Chlorophyll, obviously, to double its speed in that Sun, and then its item it is holding is that Focus Ash, so you know it can't be one-tapped by any other Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be Garchomp over here, and Garchomp's chilling here with that Bright Powder. Bright Powder is going to allow it to raise its evasiveness in that uh, Sand Veil, or not even in the Sand Stream. It just raises its evasiveness all around. And then we have Sand Veil on top of that, so when paired with the T-Tar, it's got Sand Veil rolling and Bright Powder, so we have a higher chance of dodging moves. Move set for this guy is going to be fairly normal. We got Sword Stance to set up that Attack Boost, Protect, and then both our stab moves, Dragon Claw and Earthquake. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Garchomp's buddy. T-Tar over here with Protect, Dragon Edge, Crunch, and Rock Slide. Fairly normal moveset. We got Sandstream, obviously, as our ability. And then the item this Pokemon is going to be holding is that Life Orb. But guys, there's a team preview. Everybody has a buddy here. We got Garchomp to pair up with T-Tar. We got Victory Bell to pair up with Torkoal. And then we got Cresselia to set that Trick Room and pair up with Angron. But guys, there's team preview. Let's hop to that Coliseum. Look to get some wins with this Angron team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a good group of Pokemon. Look at this, Togekiss Dragonite team with Titar, Machamp, Scizor, and Milotic. Oh my god, yo, those Pokemon look amazing. They look absolutely amazing, but should I get Trick Room rolling? I feel like Trick Room could be solid right off the rip. I think we go Cresselia alongside with Aggron, and then we roll out with Pokemon such as Torkoal in the back end and Victory Bell. I feel like Torkoal and Victory Bell could be really, really good. I like that because Trick Room is probably going to be still rolling when either Aggron or Cresselia go out. Then we can bring out Torkoal and then once Trick Room kind of ends, we'll have Victory Bell to roll out in that back end. It doesn't have Protect. I think we gave it Protect, right? It does not. It has Weather Ball. Ooh. I wish I would train, change Weather Ball for Protect. Even though Weather Ball still rocks. It still does rock. But I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, guys, you guys know Series 13 is coming up. If you guys want to build me mythical teams for Series 13, hit me up on Twitter or DM me your guys' rental team. I would love to get you guys teams or if you guys are looking to just build me a team but you guys have no idea what pokemon i want to use just hit me up on twitter be like yo jeans what mythical pokemon do you want me to build a team around i'll give you guys mythical pokemon and chances are i'm going to be using them for my videos because i'm trying to showcase every single mythical pokemon multiple different times before scarlet and violet comes out and once that game comes out it is all over with you we're going to be hopping on that rank ladder we're going to be crushing it over in that game and we're going to be showcasing brand new pokemon a brand new game but he's gonna end up leading uh tokus alongside milotic which i do not mind i think i can just protect here easily and kind of get rolling right nice little protect and pop trick room i'm with it all day i'm with it all day i could pop a rock side dude heavy slam's gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage but i have to watch out for that uh that milo milo right there milo does have hypnosis which is kind of annoying but i wonder what tokus is gonna do tokus might even swap he does swap the tokus so i'm thinking like his skull is gonna come over here I don't, I don't really mind scissor. I don't mind scissor too much. 
I'm just gonna protect my aggro here. I'm gonna protect my aggro and I'm gonna pop a trick room and we are gonna get rolling here. This thing is just gonna pop an aqua ring. Not a bad play by him. A little bit of aqua ring action. A bit of aqua ring, that's pretty cool. Trick room is gonna fly here and I wonder how aggro's gonna do up against him. Aqua ring is out about. That's such a cool move. That's such a cool move. I could pop a combine. I think we're gonna double down in Milo here. I could double down in Milo with a heavy slam. What would do more damage? Slam maybe? I might do more damage at this point. Maybe look for some flinches. I think it's going to be a reply. Instead of going roll with heavy slam. Rockside is going to fly here. And Aggron does go first, which is pretty cool. And he does a decent amount of damage. And we get the flinch chance on top of that, which is nice. He's going to sword stance up. That's kind of scary. We do not like that. We do not like that. We do not like that one bit. I'll take with the flinch. That's actually big for us. Seki's going to fly through it. And we're going to chip up some damage on the Milo. And Aqua Ring is going to poke here. God dang. Aqua Ring and left. I could hard swap in the torque here. I could hard swap it in Torkoal, which one do you add? I don't want to see how much Heavy Slam can do onto, onto Milo Thick. I don't think it would do that much damage, right? But yeah, I think our play is going to be hard swapping in Torkoal. And just pose that threat. And let's go for Heavy Slam. Let's see how much damage a Heavy Slam could possibly do. Let's go after Milo Milo with this one. And I think the X Scissor is going to come in hot. And at that point, Torkoal can eat up rather well. And then we can start dropping Heat Waves and get after the battle that way. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. So our opponent actually has a pretty good start with swapping into Pokemon such as Milotic and Scissor. They really counter up onto our Aggron. They don't really counter our Aggron and our Cresselia. We just can't do that much damage. And I think that set up a Swords Dance. So Drought's out here. Milotic's going to protect. Heavy Slam's going to do no damage. And what's he going for? X Scissor, right? He's got to be going for X Scissor. Heavy Slam gets blocked. He's got to be going for X Scissor, right? He's got to be going for it. Yeah, X Scissor into Torkoal Slot. And Torkoal can eat that up all. So great swap from us. Beautiful swap from us. Now we're choice scarf. We can actually just start dropping heat waves, kind of post threat to that scissor, and uh, get after a Milotic too. So I'm gonna see how much heavy slam can do for that thing. How much can heavy slam do that? And I feel like scissors that Pokemon that probably gonna swap or either protect right now, but heat waves gotta come out here. Where do we erupt? Nah, heat wave is probably a better option here. Just a choice into. I uh, do I rock slide too. I wanna see how much damage heavy slam can do, even though it's not very effective. I feel like it can still do a nice chunk of damage, even though Milotic is rather on the heavier side. So maybe Rockside would be in a play, but let's see what he ends up doing. He does not protect the scissors. So scissors gonna go down here. I'm gonna say bye bye to scissor all day. That's a solid little turn for, from us. So we get rid of his sword dance scissor. That's a great turn for us. Scissor is really, really strong. So getting rid of that Pokemon like that is really good. Heavy Slam's gonna poke out here. How much damage are we gonna do? He did a good chunk. He did a good chunk for not for being not very effective. I do like that. He's gonna go for a hydro pump, which Torkoal should be able to eat up, right? It's in the drought. Torkoal, eat that up all day, baby. I love you, Torkoal. I love you. Good eats from Torkoal, but Aqua Ring and uh, Aqua Ring and Leftovers are chipping up here. Aqua Ring and Leftovers are coming out here. We still have Cresselia if we want to pop, eventually pop another Trick Room in the back end, but we do have Torkoal ready to roll here with that Heat Wave. So good thing we did choice in the Heat Wave. Heat Wave definitely works better. I'm just going to Heat Wave again and maybe drop a Rock Side this turn. Really depends who he brings out. It really does depend who he brings out. Who are you going to bring out, kind sir? If it's Togekiss, I think we still drop a Rock Slide because a Rock Slide and a Heat Wave can take him out. But he's going to end up throwing out a Pokemon, which is going to be Machamp. So Machamp, I might want to just double down on Machamp. I might want to double down on Machamp here. Obviously, Heat Wave is going to be a play on this slide. But uh, maybe just Heavy Slam and run to Machamp. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's go Aggron. We got Aggron out and about. He has Togekiss in the back end. So if we can get rid of like, if we can get rid of this Machamp here, that could be really good time for us. We're just hoping it doesn't protect. Milo might protect just to get that Aqua Ring and uh, Leftovers again. Which I could definitely see happening. But I think we have one more turn in Trick Room after this turn. Which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. Because then I have options. I can bring out Chlorophyll Venusaur. Get him rolling out there. Which I would probably do over Cresselia. Or I could bring out Cresselia again. It's really up to me. So he ends up protecting Milotic. I kind of saw that coming from my way. Hopefully Machamp doesn't protect. It'll be a really good turn for us. If he doesn't. God, that's lovely. That is lovely. Hopefully we get rid of this Pokemon. Heat Wave, I need you land over on that Machamp. Beautiful. Heat Wave lands, it connects, and oh my god, Torkoal, leave him alone. Leave him alone, Torkoal. Heavy Slam's gonna come out here, and we're gonna say bye bye to him. So, yo, Agron and Torkoal are just thriving out in this trick room right now. They're thriving out here. Once I got rid of that scissor, I was just like, dude, we're sitting pretty well with these. Milotic's gonna get the Aqua Ring, he's gonna get the leftovers, it's just soaking up HP. It's totally fine. It is totally fine. I have, a, I have Victory Bell in the back end who can take that thing out in one shot. So Trick Room is gone. Okay, so that does him a little bit better. But now he's dealing with two Pokemon. He's dealing with two Pokemon. I'm gonna bring out Tokus. Obviously, I want to just heavy slam into that Pokemon. <laughs> just get rid of it. And if I can, I'll drop a Solar Beam. Actually, we can't. 
That would have been actually awesome the choice to do solar beam, but uh, we had to get rid of that scissor. But yeah, I'm just gonna heavy slam into this thing. I'm just gonna pop a heat wave across, even though I think Tokus might protect, which it does. And then he's probably going to get rid of the twirkle, right? Are you gonna get rid of the twirkle? He misses a hydro bomb. Agron dodges. I love you, Agron. I love you, Agron. Agron should be able. Actually, no, the drought might be gone. Drought might be gone. Drought might be gone, but we're gonna do that, and then uh, I think we might just hard swap the twirkle. Into Victory Bell? Might be our play, right? Might be our play because if this Drought's gone, that's kind of tough. Where's Drought stay? What's going on? Did he lag out or did he quit? No, he did not. Okay, so Drought's still here. So now would be a good time to actually swap into Victory Bell, right? Victory Bell has that Sash. He can eat up whatever. We can get Torkoal back out here. Torkoal's just type nice. Now we can just Heavy Slam straight across. Is there a point of leaving Torkoal in here? I mean, dude, I do not see that Milotic taking me out with a Hydro Pump. Do not see it with the Drought out and about. Hydro Pump has a chance to miss too. I do like where we're sitting. So I'm going to swap the, uh, I'm just going to swap the, uh, the, what's called the Torkoal. Just so I can set Drought one more time for a Victory Bell if need be. Because Focus Hatch is going to come out here. And we're just going to get after it. I think my Aggron is going to be totally fine here. So let's see what he goes for. He goes for a Protect. Oh. For us. It's a huge turn for us. What's Milo going for? Or not Milo. What's Tokus going for? Tokus is going to go for a life do. That, that's fine. He can heal up. But dude, it's over with. It is all over with. Because this heavy slam is going to rip through this Tokus. This heavy slam is going to rip through the Tokus. Right? See you later, Tokus. Heavy slam coming out here from Agron. Big time damage. Get him on out of here, dude. Get him on out of here. We have that heavy metal as its ability. Doubles its weight. It's already weight. Its weight is already ridiculous. And then on top of that, it's a super effective shot. But now it's just Milotic. And Neil, are we sleeping? I don't think we lost a Pokemon. We played this one good. We played this one really good. And Agron didn't even get touched. It didn't even use its leftovers. Agron's just beasting out here. He's just doing work. He's just doing work. But from here, I'm just going to hard swap into the Torkoal. And I'm just going to drop a Solar Beam and say GG. Right? Right? Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. Agron's gonna swap back. He's not even gonna cancel the battle. And there it is, guys. Perfect little sweep for you guys because Victory Bell's whipping on this thing. Victory Bell is whipping. Usually I like to run Victory Bell with the Life Orb, but we gave it to T Tar. T Tar definitely thrives a bit more off of it. But Victory Bell still can do some big damage. But without it, it's still, it's still, ripping. it is still ripping. Solar Beam coming out here. It's stab. It's super effective. Get this Milotic on out of here. Get him on out of here. Gone. Dumped on out of my coliseum but there it is ladies and gentlemen one and oh to get this video started let's hop to their second battle look to go back to back hopping into battle number two we are rematching the same opponent but good thing is he picked a different team so we're going up against a whole different team he has garchomp rotom wash he has nine tails to set the drought he's t-tar to set the sand stream so i feel like that's just for weather control and then he has swamper and bronzong so bronzong could counter up our trick room we could go on a trick room if we want to but we really don't have to i feel like torkoal and victory belt could be good or we can just straight up lead like crest and Victory Bell. Because Victory Bell can outspeed a decent amount of these Pokemon and is super effective up against a few of these. That isn't too bad. And then we have the Torkoal. I think we just go in with same squad, just different order here. Same squad, different order. I really like it. I'm digging it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a victory here in battle number two. But then battle number three, we could showcase Garchomp and Titar. But you guys seen them plenty times on the channel. So it's just like, if we don't showcase those Pokemon, it's definitely fine. But I'm here to showcase his Trick Room Aggron. He's, he rocked out in battle number one. Got his Heavy Slams rolling. It did some work. But early on, I, bleh, I don't know why it came out like that. But early on into the battle, uh, he kind of like got an upper hand, our first opponent. Which was this guy. He kind of swapped that scissor. And we were looking a little tough. But we swapped into the Torkoal. We made a great read. We were able to eat up the X scissor. And then I was super surprised that he did not protect or even swap out the scissor. Which is really weird. We just dropped the Heat Wave. He gave us a free kill. And we rolled out from there. Which was absolutely amazing. But he finally locks in his team. And we're going to get rolling here in battle number two. So I got Victory Bell out here. I got Cresselia. I can either pop a Trick Room. I could, uh... He actually set the sun for me. Awesome. It's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. He set the sun for me. And so I'm going to put that bronze on to sleep. I am going to put that bronze on to sleep. And I am going to use my focus ash this turn. I'm going to put you to sleep and I will use my focus ash. And pop trick. Here sleep powder. Run it up. And we, we shall put you to sleep. So we'll use our focus ash. We'll let him use a heat wave or whatever fire moves he wants to use. And we will pop a trick. Because we 1,000% need this room. There's no doubt in my mind. 
because we have Pokemon such as Torkoal and Agron. If they're not in Trick Room, it is GG's. So we're going to put the Bronze on to sleep. And we're going to get after this way. He's going to Will of Wisp. That's totally fine because we have physical or special attackers now. That's cool. We keep our focus ash and we get them all off from here. Bronze time is going to be slumped and Trick Room is going to come out and about. So we'll use up this Drought turns for a little bit. Actually, I mean, he's going to outspeed at this point, but uh, I could just go into Weather Ball. I could double down on Nine Tails. What do I want to do here? I mean, I have Torkoal to deal with that uh, Bronze Song, so I kind of just want to get rid of you. I just want to double down on Nine Tails here with a Sludge Bomb and a Psychic here. Which isn't a bad turn. He burns my Crest. Crest is just going to take some slow chip damage. It still has a Citrus Berry, which is looking pretty good. Okay. I see you. I see this guy. But Bronze Song is going to be out here at Nine Tails. Oh, dude! I hate it. That's like that's the worst feeling in the, in the world. When you double down into and Bronzong wakes up. What you mean? Oh, come on, man! What you mean? One turn sleep, and he double and he protects on my double slot. That is the worst feeling in the world. When someone protects when you double down into a Pokemon, hurts soul. It really does hurt soul. Um, I mean that's okay. And we still have speed. Bronzong's looking rather annoying. Bronzong is looking rather annoying. Uh. Still have, Trick Room's still on the battle. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna double back down into him. I'm gonna double back down right into the Sign Tails. Double him right down into the Sign Tails. We're getting after Sign Tails. We're getting right after Sign Tails. But yo, solid play by him. He set up the Light Screen. We only have one physical attack on this team. He's gonna end up going for a Gyro Ball. We're gonna be able to soak that. And oh wow, that did a ridiculous amount of damage. Chris gonna use Psychic. And I think he just takes on my Victory Bell, right? Oh, that Light Screen did me so dirty. Flame Thrower coming out here. Go after Chris. Nope, he doubles down into there. Okay, so from here, we gotta bring out the Torkoal. Torkoal's gotta get him up. Torkoal has gotta get him up, right? We gotta come out here with the eruption. And this thing is life Or I could bring out, I could definitely bring out my, my aggro on here. Rock can take out you. It really depends who I wanna take out. Would I rather take out the Bronzong? Or the, I feel like, I feel like eruption's the play here. Eruption's gotta be the play. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I could start calm mining here too. Would not be a bad play. But I'm just gonna double down the nine tails and I'm just gonna pop it. Send it. Send it, Torkoal. Let's get it, Torkoal. So we're, we're coming down to our Trick Room Pokemon. And we're really thriving on Trick Room here. We do have Citrus Berry to potentially set up another Trick Room later in the match. But I wonder what our opponent's gonna do. He sees that my Torkoal's out on the field. Like, Torkoal is just the man in Trick Room. And it's such a pain to deal with. And especially full health, it's definitely should be slowest, right? Or is Bronze on slow? I don't think Bronze on something. Got a turtle. Nothing should be faster than this turtle, except for maybe a bigger turtle. <laughs> I feel like that would be the only thing that could be slower than this turtle. Would be another turtle. But yep, Torkoal's gonna pop an eruption. Should say bye bye to Bronze on unless it's sash. And no, no, well, it's Light Screen. That dang Light Screen doing me real dirty. Light Screen doing me real dirty. He's gonna pop a Gyro Ball. We're gonna be able to eat that up. And can you double down into my Crest here? Crest gonna actually suck it here. Solid, because I would rather be at full health here. And is that KO? It does not. Life Orb should be able to KO this thing. He's gonna pop a flame thrower. That's gotta be impressed. Okay, dude, I'm with that all day. I'm with that turn all day. I did some mean damage. I did some mean damage. And the reason I'm with that turn is he took no HP off my Torkoal, which means we can send another eruption at full HP. Citrus Berry comes out here. Um, hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Because Burn's kind of chipping up here. We should probably die out next turn. I'm trying to think of how many turns we have left in, uh, we have left in Trick Room. Maybe two? I think we're down to two, right? I'm trying to think. Venusaur, what moves did Venusaur use? It used Sleep Powder. It went for a Sludge Bomb. It was two. It went for another Sludge Bomb, but it died. This is for... We have one more turn left in Trick Room. God dang it. We have one more turn left in Trick Room. That's going to come back maybe to bite us. He's going to throw out T-Tar. I mean, if we could potentially get off a Heavy Slam there. But we 1,000% have to erupt and just drop an Ice Beam with uh, T-Tar here. Have a nice lovely ice beam, right? We get psychic, but it has no effect. So yeah, we're just gonna ice beam into that slot, and I'm just gonna pop an eruption. I mean, no reason not to pop an eruption, even though I have to. I'm truly specked into it. But dude, that light screen is ridiculously strong, ridiculously strong. What old light screen, dude? Screens are so good, especially in BDSP. They're phenomenal. BDSP, I feel like they they, they make your team more bulkier than uh. Sword and Shield, but Sword and Shield just has Diamond, so it can kind of counter up a little bit. But yeah, screens are just so strong in this. Eruption's not going to do much to uh, T-Tar. I guess there's weather out here. And I wonder what he's going for. Probably a Rock Slide, right? Chip of damage onto Boy here. 
I'm gonna go for an EQ. I do have levitate, so I'm gonna pop, try to pop another Turkle next turn. I might take out my Torkoal. It does not. Torkoal's able to eat. Um, yeah, we, we just gotta keep popping new options. Or I could swap them. I could definitely swap them if I want to. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze! Nope, Buffett's coming out here. I could swap the Torkoal. I could swap the Torkoal. But Trickrum is gone. Um, hmm. Who's he gonna throw out here? This is Final Mon. I get off one more Trickrum. Oh my god. I could swap the Torkoal. Torkoal wouldn't be a bad swap. But it really depends who he's throwing out here. Because we know he's popping EQ, and I know that my Agro can eat open EQ. He's gonna throw out Rotom. That's definitely the problem. We gotta go for Trick Room, and we gotta go for this. We gotta go for the swap, right? We gotta go for the swap. We gotta go. I feel like this is the last ditch effort. We have to survive with the Crest Wing at the moment. So hopefully, one shot is going into Agron. Hopefully, Crest can soak up whatever. But one after offer. He's gonna go for Hydro Pump. We dodge it. That's a big time dodge. What's he going for? He's actually going for a payback. Oh, can we eat that? I don't think we can eat that. Oh, that hurts the soul. But at least we get Weather Control, and Weather Control can help us out tremendously here because. Because now I can choice into a solar beam. I choice to a solar beam. A heavy slam can do some big damage. Even though Titar's rather heavy, still, I gotta go for the heavy slam, right? I gotta go for the heavy slam. The Torkoal's coming back out here. Payback came out here, and that did some work. We're gonna rock out with this drought, and Torkoal might be able to circle a hydro pump. I don't really know. I do not really know. But yeah, we gotta choice to a solar beam here. Right into you, and then. Heavy. Let's go for the heavy slam. Let's see how much damage heavy slam can do over on the Titar. Let's see. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but maybe we can dodge another Hydro Pump because Hydro Pump's kind of on the lower accuracy side. Great battle, great battle for battle number two. Go into distance, we're swapping Pokemon in and out. It's looking really good, and it can really go either way right here. He's gonna go for a protect, great little protect on him. Go after my Aggron, please. Leave my leave my Torkoal alone. Leave my Torkoal alone. Go after Aggron. It is going after Aggron. Aggron, you should be able to soak that. Good work, Aggron. Good work, Aggron. Now Torkoal, get some damage off here. Get some big time damage. I know he has the screens out here, which is kind of scary, but still. Torkoal's gonna solar beam here. And I might just protect my aggron right after this. I might protect my aggron. Because he's probably he might double down on my aggron here. But yeah, dude, light screen's doing me dirty here, but so how much damage can we do? Ah dang, light screen, man. <laughs> light screen's just helping him out. Left is gonna give us some HP. I might just protect this turn. Get some more HP with my aggron and try to pop another solar beam. Right? Because if I get off one more solar beam, he can be thriving here. Let's protect. Let's protect. Because my defense is through the roof. Is through. This is such a good battle. We kind of just need him not to go into Torkoal. But I think Torkoal can eat up an EQ, right? Let's see what he does here. He can go, oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Eat this up. That's GG's. That's GG's. Great read by our opponent there. Great read by our opponent. What's he going for? He can go for the EQ. Um, What do I do here? What do I do here? I feel like we try to get rid of that Rotom. That's gotta be our play. We have to try to get rid of the Rotom. We have to try to get rid of the Rotom. We gotta go for Heavy Slam into the Rotom. Even though it's not very effective. Or I can go for a Rock Side. But I just don't... Mm, actually, Rock Side could pick up the KO. Let's go for Rock Side. Let's go for Rock Side here. But we need Rotom to miss. We need Rotom to miss. Because we know T-Tar's EQ ain't missing. So we need Rotom to miss here. And then we... Some... We have a little bit of a shot. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be first step is Rotom needs to miss. So if Rotom misses, then we have a shot. But if Rotom doesn't miss, it's kind of pretty much GG. Let's see. Hydro Pump's gonna come out of here and it connects. That's GG. God dang it. God dang Rotom coming in this back end. And I'm not even gonna lie. Late oh, we lived on one. We lived on one. And here goes Payback and he connects that. So it's over anyway. But not gonna lie, the MVP for his team was that light screen. That light screen helped him soak up so many shots and really came in clutch. Right now, we're sitting at one loss and one win, which meant we had to rematch our opponent yet again. And I love this opponent right here. He's using a bunch of different cool teams, so we're not just going up against the same exact team every single battle, which is really, really cool. So huge shout out to our opponent here. One and one. Let's try to grab ourselves a winning record and take the uh, best of three series. Uh, he has Mr. Mime, which is really, really cool. He has Flygon, who I love. He also has Snorlax, Aerodactyl, Sableye, and Jolty. I feel like Trick Room's just, just, the, just the name of the game here, right? I think we just go Crest and Aggron. Crescent Agron for a lead sounds really, really good. Flygon is definitely a problem, but we do have Ice Beam to kind of deal with it. We do have Ice Beam to deal with that. And then I'm going to bring T-Tar and Garchomp here. 
You like Teton or Garchomp? Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's just grab ourselves a win here in battle number three and take the series win. But yo, such cool teams. Give a huge round of applause to our opponent. Hopefully he's a viewer of the videos. Yo, Sax, your video of the, or if you're a viewer of the videos, huge shout out to you, man. Leave me a comment down below. Leave me a comment down below if you're a viewer of the video. I know sometimes when I play people in BDSP, they are uh, viewers, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love. Thank you guys so much for support. It's really amazing. I love hopping on every single day making videos for you guys. It's awesome. He's going to end up going in with these two. Oh, uh, yeah. We can easily pop a trick or mirror. And I think we just stay in here. We just stay in and we drop a rock side. Or I can just go straight for heavy slam and take out Aerodactyl. That's my plan. We're going to try to get rid of Aerodactyl. Snorlax is kind of chilling here, but I don't think Snorlax can really do much up against my Aggron. Physical attacking plus it's normal. We're going to be able to rip. We're going to be able to rip. So I'm just going to pop a trick or mirror and I'm going to stay in with uh, Aggron. I'm not going to protect. This is a lot of times like you, you usually protect that trick room pokemon but in this situation i don't feel like he can do a lot of damage to us and we can just take this free turn right it's really good for us he's gonna drop a rock side he's looking for flinches don't you dare get a flinch on me don't you dare get a flinch on me don't do it to me don't you do it to me aggron goes for heavy slam beautiful take it out bring it down to sash just absolutely dump on it yo aggron is here to play this thing came out of play and Cresselia, please do not be flinching what's the going for a belly jump Oh, now is that thing slower than Aggron? That's the real question. That is the real question. Is that thing slower than Aggron? And cool, we didn't flinch. That thing is slower than Aggron. It just proved it. Hmm. That hurts soul. That thing is slower than Aggron. But can Aggron somehow eat up a shot? I do not know, man. I do not know. But yeah, we gotta get after this. This, this Snorlax. He's got to go. <laughs> he has got to go. Dang, dude. Trick Room wasn't the play call, dude. What a belly drum. What a belly drum. Okay. Do we have anything that can actually get rid of this thing? Maybe I, should, I might cancel that trick room here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cancel that trick room. I might protect and cancel that trick room. Well, I'm just going to cancel that trick room and double down into the Snorlax, right? Maybe an Iron Head. I got to cancel trick room here. I have got to cancel trick room. So I'm going to cancel trick room here and then I'm just going to thrive into. Why not a Heavy Slam? I think like Iron Head would do more damage over all time. I might go for Rock Side. I'm going to go for Rock Side. Give up some damage on the Jolteon. But yeah, I'm can't I gotta cancel that trick room. I have to cancel that trick room. He's gonna go for body slam into crest. Can you eat this up, crest? Shot. Hurts soul. Hurts the soul a lot. That hurts the soul. Body slam's ripping up. Rock side's gonna connect. Chip up some damage on the Snorlax and onto Jolteon. And I think an iron head could just finish that thing off. He's gonna go for thunder. And he connects it. And he connects it. Hey guys gonna be wow, that did a lot of damage. Is that orbed? That did a lot of damage. Okay, uh go from here, bring out T Tar. I bring out T Tar, right? Yeah, T Tar's gotta be your play. T Tar has got to be your play. Good old T Tar. Dang, dude. This, this, this is scary. This this little this little Snorlax is scaring me here. This little Snorlax is scaring me. So we're gonna go for another rock slide here. And I'm actually just gonna double rock slide. I'm double rock slide because we gotta get rid of the Snorlax. We have got to get rid of this Snorlax. It is an absolute pain. It is an absolute pain, but good thing we got the show off Aggron. We, we ripped it from today. We go for a body slam. Aggron, can you eat that? Beautiful. I love you, Aggron. I love you, Aggron. And this should actually pick up the double kill, right? Now Trick Room is in our favor. Let's look at that. We got that, and then T-Tar should go. Oh, no shot. No shot. This thing's rocking a berry. That's rough news there. T-Tar goes next. We do take out the Jolteon. We get off some damage on the Snorlax. That's some big damage. Can Buffett take that out? I mean, I can double protect next turn, which is gonna be big, plus, which I might have to do. I might do that. I might have to do that because Buffett should be able to get after Snorlax. Can I just take him out here? It does not. It puts him on one. So yeah, we're double protecting. That's an easy double protect. Turn this into a three v one situation. I like this. I like that because you can't swap him. And I don't think he had any Pokemon to change up weather unless he has Sableye to roll in with Sunny Day. But I really doubt it's gonna happen. It's gonna be Flygon. Yeah, Flygon comes out here. We can just double protect. We can kind of get after it that way, because then Trick Room's still going to be out and about. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to protect. And then I'm going to just protect. This Snorlax is out. Out for the count. But yo, look how much my boy Aggron soaked that up. Because it resists normal types so much. It's steel and rock. Plus, his defense is through the roof. It soaked up a belly jump Snorlax body slam. Like, like it was nothing. Did absolutely no damage to us. So we're going to double protect here. We're going to say bye-bye to the Snorlax due to Buffets. And Flygon, I wonder what Flygon's going for. I wonder what Flygon's going for. Oh, we could have actually just won the match right here or just uh did some work with uh aggron but now this was definitely the better play the better play was definitely protect because now Snorlax is gone we turn this into a three 
3v1 situation and look at the boys out on the field Agron and uh, Titar they look very similar just different typing like Agron just looks like the steel Titar you know it looks really really cool but these guys are just bulky rock monsters out on the field came to play today and I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room which really benefits us it really benefits us because now I can just go into a crunch I can just drop a nice beautiful heavy slam and that should pretty much be GG does our opponent cancel the battle does not he protects okay so he wants to waste out Trick Room turns that's totally fine because we have, we have we have car chomp in the back end which outspeeds him we just drag and call across across the board and i think uh can we eat up an eq can agron eat up an eq i could protect if i wanted to but trick has gone here i could protect to get some more hp if i wanted to but it's totally fine it's totally fine i'm gonna go for the heavy slam let's see if agron can eat it up obviously this was like a if i had money on this battle or tournament i would just protect my Agron here but uh Agron does not soak up he well, I don't think he would have soaked up regardless it's a heavy shot it's a heavy shot from him right there yeah we're gonna end up going into a crunch bang bang and that is some big time damage we're gonna take some life orb damage and I feel like his only option is to go into an EQ right I feel like his only option is to go into an EQ to win this match for double kill but he can't take out my Garchomp so that's big play it's big play and Garchomp should be able to outspeed our chump should be able to outspeed. We'll drop a crunch. We'll drop a dragon claw. And that solidifies the match. Yo, Agron coming in hot. Agron coming in hot. Guard chomp outspeed. Dragon claw, claw takes us out this flygon. And we go 2 and 1 and grab ourselves that winning record. Heavy Metal Agron is where it's at in Trick Room. Using Heavy Metal alongside with Heavy Slam just does a ridiculous amount of damage on all Pokemon. Agron was definitely clutch. Its defense was through the roof and really helped us beat that Belly Jump Snorlax. We had other Pokemon like Torkoal and Victory Bell combo, which rolled out in battle number one, I believe, or was it battle number two? One of the battles it did. And then we had that Garchomp and T-Tar combo come in the back end in battle number three to solidify that winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.